Hey Land Party Gamers! Today we're going to be talking about a little something different and that is home security. Now my parents, as you know, have started to move back into the house and we're doing some construction which means that their Cox home security system is being moved over to my house. The problem is uh, that, you know, my my issues with Wi-Fi, I'm trying to do as much hard-lined as I can and uh, the, walk, uh, the cameras uh, that Cox uses, these I iCamera 2s have a Wi-Fi enabled, of course, but they also have a network jack in the back. So I thought, well, let's try and uh, just use a PoE switch, provide both data and power to these iCamera 2s, and that's where the issue lies. When you plug them in, they don't receive power over PoE in a standard way. The 802.11 way is uh, something like 48 volts. And uh, I, I don't even know if the pins line up with the pins on this, so it doesn't turn on when you plug it in. Turns out that the adapter that this comes with is a 12 volt PoE injector, and the one that Cox provides doesn't have a pass through for data. So they're expecting it to run entirely on Wi Fi. So we're going to buy an, an, an adapter on Amazon to try and uh, see if we can't convert it into a pass through, splitting the data and power and then recombining it before it goes into the camera and dropping it down to the 12 volts. So we're gonna do a little bit of uh, research online, find what devices we need and uh, maybe even make something. So stay tuned as we try to figure out how to uh, convert these cameras to be usable with a standard uh, PoE switch. And um, the other reason I'm doing this is actually when Cox uninstalled the cameras from my parents' house, they only grabbed us one of the plugs and we have got four cameras so we're gonna try to use this as a solution for that as well so here we go okay so after doing some research online we found this this is a 12 volt poe adapter so it splits the uh, 48 volt plug coming in from the poe switch goes through this line, then separates it into 100 meg uh, download. So it's missing, you can see the blue and the brown pins. And it uses those to give you a 12 volt signal into this barrel connector. And this barrel connector will go into what Cox provided, giving 12 volts to the camera. And we've tested that, as you can see. Sorry about the vertical video, this is something we sent uh, I was excited to send this to a friend on Facebook, but uh, you can see it goes from the switch, it's got data, and uh, the, the camera powers up, and then we recombine that with the Y adapter to go back into the camera to recombine the signal and the power into a single cable. Well, the problem is, is that Cox only gave us uh, one of these back when they took down our system, meaning we can't find the rest of this cable. And this cable here is really what we need to make this work. So what I need to do is cut these two off and then combine them into a single cable, basically, and then recrimp the head into a single head. So that's what we're going to do now and see how that works. Yeah, all right. So here's the same cable, and it's hard to tell, but my pinout from left to right is white with orange. Let me see if I can. There we go. White with orange, orange. White with green. So standard so far on the B standard. Then instead of blue, we've got the red cable from the power line, then nothing, then green. Then instead of white with brown, we've got the black cable from the power line, and then nothing again. So white with orange, orange, white with green, red, blank, green, black, and then blank again. And that gives us uh, data and power in the same line with this 12 volt uh, PoE splitter. And uh, we'll see how well this works uh, when directly connected to our uh, PoE switch and see if it also shows data coming through. Would you look at that? We've got uh, the cable plugged in and data's actually showing on the thing. It's just 100 meg, which is just enough. I mean, it's fine for 720p, 120 degree camera. And, uh, and obviously here you can see the camera's lighting up and booting up. That's awesome. 
So this little uh, four pack of these were pretty cheap. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to order that or if you're in a similar situation where you want to use these iCamera 2s, whether or not you're getting them through Xfinity or Cox and, uh, and use these adapters and make your own uh, crimping heads and then you don't have to use Y adapters. You don't even need the PoE injectors anymore. You just use this to step down the power to 12 volts. And you could still use them over Wi-Fi if you want, or uh, we're gonna see how well it works over wired. Maybe it's a better connection, maybe it's more stable. But uh, we're gonna be putting these. Um, one re another reason that I wanted to use this is we have a run going out to the front of the house uh, where a camera is gonna be looking at our cars and our mailbox and our entryway. And it would be pretty ugly to put a power plug out there. And I didn't really wanna see that. So this way we can have the really small network cable, we can hide it and behind another piece of conduit and then out. And then um, we're gonna have another one in our hallway looking at our entryway. So our garage door, our front door and our office door. And again, we don't really wanna put a random power plug in the ceiling. So having a small network cable drop down and then mounting the, uh, <clears throat> the camera to that is gonna be a way more elegant solution. And this is a great way to do it. So I think we've found our solution. And if you're in the situation where you've lost your iCamera 2 cables, or you have a, you're, you're trying to use a PoE switch with iCamera 2, well, here you go. This was, took a couple nights to figure out, uh, get the pin out right, but it seems to be working. And uh, we're gonna plug it all in before we call Cox. And then when the Cox guy gets here, all he has to do is set up the door sensors and things like that. And that should make their trip out here a lot faster. So anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like uh, sort of interesting builds and tech and, and, and even land party coverage, uh, event coverage, we got CES coming up in January. So make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icons down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.